Hey what's up guys, KSK here, welcome to this video. This is the first look at Elementary OS 6 Beta. Now in this video, I'm going to talk everything about Elementary OS 2021. Elementary OS 6 is based on Ubuntu LTS 2004. If you are coming from Elementary OS 5.1, you may find a few changes in terms of visual improvements. Now let's start with the features and changes, uh, starting with the brand new installer. With version 6 of Elementary OS, the developers have integrated a Pop OS based installer with a rich modern user interface that is easy to use. The team of the Elementary OS has collaborated with Pop OS developers to make this installer more flexible and intuitive. This installer walks you through some of the easy options that help the end user to install the Elementary OS in a few steps. Now it's time to talk about a Pantheon desktop environment. Now as of now, the changes to the user interface are quite noticeable. The refreshed look and feel of Elementary OS 6 is impressive. Now compared to version 5.1, this release is going to integrate the features that have been written from the ground up. Now unlike a GNOME a KDE, the Pantheon is a standalone desktop that looks completely different from other Linux distros. The team has done a fantastic job of rewriting the GTK framework for the Elementary OS 6 to make it a more robust for future releases. This helps to integrate some of the popular features like dark mode and accent colors. You know, that being said, dark mode has now been added to Elementary OS 6. This all-new dark mode looks simple and easy to use. They have gone with a mildly dark color to make it as simple. The default elementary OS apps looks fantastic in dark mode. Now each app has a deeply integrated with a dark UI and works better. Now, unfortunately for the applications installed from Flatpak or App Center, the default dark mode may not gonna work. Now, unlike Ubuntu, with Elementary OS 6, you can turn on the dark mode automatically based on time. Now other UI features like accent colors look fantastic with dark mode. The all new accent color changes the look of the buttons, icons throughout the system. Now as of now I'm using a beta, the UI improvements are yet to be updated in the stable release. With the release of GNOME 40, multi-touch gestures are making an entrance to the Linux desktop slowly to make the user experience more flexible, especially on laptops. The elementary team has worked so hard to make these gestures work as intended, just like the way we saw in GNOME 40. The users with a trackpad can now use a multi-touch gestures to navigate the system easily. Now using a three-finger gesture, swiping up reveals the overview of a workspace and swiping left or right switches between the workspaces. Now these gestures are quite similar to GNOME 40.
Now, a major shift for elementary OS 6 is the inclusion of Flatpak applications out of the box, as well as an entirely a Flatpak based App Center ecosystem. Now, also, elementary OS 6 supports a sharing a Flatpak applications system wide. Now, this is part of the plan to ship applications in elementary OS as a Flatpaks out of the box and should be ready in the final release. Now, the elementary OS 6 notifies the user about the firmware updates directly from settings. Now, this adds in hardware support for additional peripherals with a Linux vendor firmware service. Now, you can download the firmware updates directly for the compatible hardware modules to make it work as intended. With elementary OS 6, there is a refresh mail application that is a completely rewritten from scratch. Now, instead of relying on the custom Geary mail backend, it now uses the systems evolution, a data server, which brings a much wider mail server compatibility. Also, there is a brand new app called a task that has been shipped with this update. Now, other features of elementary OS 6 include a kernel 5.8 generic and improved notifications, options to show a number lock and caps lock in the panel, auto completes the command at type in uppercase and translates to a lowercase, and improved support to the older hardware and more. And that's pretty much it, and these are the uh, top features and changes that are coming in elementary OS 6 and definitely elementary OS 6 is going to be in a massive update from the team after a long time and uh, so what do you guys think about it so let me know in the comment section down below so thanks for watching this video it's been KSKRL I will see you in my next one